Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is my second official video. Uh, first of all, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel so that I can get to a thousand uh, subs soon and do live broadcasts so we can interact and you can ask questions in real time. Um, I had a um, spot set up inside my house all ready to go with, with um, Romanov portraits in the background, but it's such a nice day that I decided to do this one outside on the patio, so here I am. Um, it's really beautiful and there's not, uh, down in Australia we're going into winter, so uh, there's not much time left for beautiful um, weather like this. So I decided to do it outside. So for this um, show, I um, well for this broadcast, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, uh, I will um, I, I went through my documents not long ago and I found a stack of um, some um, typed up letters that um, I got a long time ago, years ago, from, from someone um, that are letters written in English by Alexandra to um, Lily Den and to Anya Verubova. So, um, what I'd like to do is maybe, um, they're not, as far as I know, they haven't been published, and I did not include that, them in, um, in the, um, in the steps book, um, this book, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but, um, this is, uh, when, when people ask me what my favorite book is, that's, that's my own, um, I always recommend this one, because, um, you really learn a lot about, um, the last, uh, year and a half of, of um, the Romanovs and basically I just did the translations they wrote the book so um, if there's one book of mine that you that you will read I highly recommend uh, in the steps of the Romanovs um, and um, so um, I did not include these letters in the in the book um, they're very long as far as I know they haven't been published they were originally written in English, so I didn't translate them. That's actually one of the reasons I didn't include them, because um, they, they're in English, so it, I feel like it's not my work. Um, it's, uh, it's really Alexandra is the author, but um, I feel like I need to uh, just include things that are that I myself translated, so I could, when I put my name on it. But I did include some, some of Alexandra's diary entries, but um, this was going to be... Um, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking of including them maybe in another book, or, or um, I wasn't sure what to do with them because they're in English. Um, so I decided to read them to you. I put them in chronological order. So we've got um, the letters start uh, in December of 1917, and the last one, it looks like March 21st of 1918. So uh, they basically they're from Tobolsk. And um, Anya, is, uh, as you know, escaped, um, and she all this time she was working on, she was trying to um, put together a rescue plan, but it, it wasn't working out. So um, Alexandra wrote to her a lot. In December alone, and I don't know if I have all of them, but in December alone it was almost, it was like daily. Um, some of them were daily, others, it was at least like once a week that she wrote to her. So, um, I will read, this is a very long one, it's two pages typed, so, I will read it to you, and uh, hopefully it's um, um, something that, that's new to you, and will be interesting to you. So, this is uh, 8 December 1917, Tobolsk. My darling, in thoughts and prayers we are always together, still it is hard not to see each other. My heart is so full, there's so much I would like to know, so many thoughts I would like to share with you. But we hope the time will come when we shall see each other, and all the old friends who are now scattered in different parts of the world. I am sorry you have had a misunderstanding with one of your best friends. That should never happen. This is no time to judge one's friends, every one of us being on such an unnatural strain. We here live far from everybody, and life is quiet, but we read of all the horrors that are going on, but I shall not speak of them. 
you live in the very, their very center, and that is enough for you to bear. Petty troubles around us. The maids have been in Tobolsk four days, and yet they are not allowed to come to our house, although it was promised that they should. How pitiful this everlasting suspicion and fear. I suppose it will be the same with Isa. Nobody is now allowed to approach us, but I hope they will soon see how stupid and brutal and unfair it is to keep them waiting. Now she's talking about the maids. It is very cold, minus 24 degrees of frost, and of course she uses Celsius. We shiver in the rooms, and there's always a strong drought from the windows. Your pretty jacket is so useful. Now, Anya used to send them um, packages, as, as did other people, but um, this is probably what she's referring to. She, sold, uh, she sent them a jacket. Um, we all have child blades on our fingers. You remember how you suffered from them in, in your cold little house? Now, if anybody knows what child blains are, C-H-I-L-B-L-A-I-N-S, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm gonna Google it later, but I didn't before, so right now I don't know what that is. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with cold. I am writing this while resting before dinner. Little Jimmy lies next to me while his mistress plays the piano. I guess she's talking about Anastasia. On the 6th, Alexei, Marie, and Gilic, Monsieur Julliard, acted a little play for us. The others are committing to memory scenes from French plays. Excellent distraction and good for the memory. The evenings we spend together, he reads aloud to us and I embroider. Nicholas, of course. I am very busy all day preparing Christmas presents, painting ribbons for bookmarkers and cards as, if, as, as of old. Um, of course, they had to make um, crisp, uh, gifts, handmade gifts for, um, for all their um, sweet members who, who were there uh, because they had no, no other way of getting it. And Tatiana also mentions it in her, her letter. <clears throat> I also have lessons with the children, as the priest is no longer permitted to come. But I like these lessons very much. So many things come back to my mind. I am reading with pleasure the works of Archbishop Whiskey. And it's spelled like whiskey, but with two S's. I did not have them formally. Lately, also, I have read Tihon Zadonsky. In spite of everything, I was able to bring some of my favorite books with me. Do you read the Bible I gave you? Do you know that there's now a much more complete edition? I have given one to the children and I've managed to get a large one for myself. There are some beautiful passages in the Proverbs of Solomon. The Psalms also give me peace. Dear, we understand each other. I thank you for everything, and in memory, I live over again our happy past. It's pretty sad. One of our former wounded men, Private Aristoff, is in the hospital again. I don't know the reason. Um, and I think that this is the same um, guy that Tatiana and, and Olga mentioned in the letter that's about around this time. So. Um, I don't remember what they called him, but I will look it up, and or you can you can comment on it. Um, now, when you com when you do comments, you can ask questions because I'm going to answer them. I'm going to check um, all the comments. I'm going to respond, or you can uh, do it on the Facebook uh, in the Facebook group as well. So um, you know, I, I will read everything you write or um, any comments that that you post. Give sincere thanks and greetings to Madam S. and her husband. God bless and comfort him. Where are Serge and his wife? Now, Serge is, uh, Sergei, is um, Anya's brother. So she's asking about his, her brother. Um, I received a touching letter from Zina um, and presumably Tolstaya. 
Um, I know the past is all done with, but I thank God for all that we have received, and I live in a memory that cannot be taken from me. Still, I worry often for my dear, dearly loved, far distant, foolish little friend, meaning Anya. <laughs> I am glad that you have resumed your maiden name. So her ma ma maiden name was, her, her married name was Verubava. Uh, her maiden name was Demidova, so uh, obviously she took back her maiden name. Give greetings to Emma F. Fredericks, the English Red Cross nurse, and to your dear parents. On the 6th, we had service at home, not being allowed to go to church on account of some kind of a disturbance. Now, she's referring to the, um, I think she's referring to the priest uh, using their titles during a prayer service, which uh, the, uh, the soldiers uh, got very upset about. Um, so they, they limited, they, they, the um, Central Committee decided to not allow them to go to church anymore. And the priest, I believe, was fired and sent to si uh, somewhere in, in Siberia, somewhere else in Siberia, um, I believe. So I can, uh, I can check on that if anybody wants to know. I have not been out in the fresh air for four weeks. I can't go out in such bitter weather because of my heart. Nevertheless, church draws me almost irresistibly. I showed you photographs to Valia and Zilik. I did not want to show them to the ladies. Your face is too dear and precious to me. Nastinka is too distant. She's very sweet, but she does not seem near to me. All my dear ones are far away, but I am surrounded by their photographs and gift jackets, dressing gowns, slippers, silver dish, spoons, and icons. It's interesting, she spells icons with a K instead of a C, which is more like a Russian transliteration. Um, I'm not sure why she, she does that. Um, how I would like to send you something, but I fear it would get lost. I kiss you tenderly, love and bless you we all kiss you he was touched by your letter of congratulation meaning nicholas he meaning nicholas we pray for you and we think of you not always without tears yours and she didn't um she didn't um, sign it with her name but obviously we know it's from alexandria fyodorovna so um that was the first letter i have that's uh, the earliest letter i have from um from um, Alex to Anya, um, which is uh, 8th of December, 1917. I'm sure she wrote to her before, but um, I just don't have those. And uh, let me know what you think um, down in the comments or in, um, or on, in the group if you're on Facebook. Um, I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know if you um, like uh, this type of format for me to read things that that weren't in my books uh, like these letters and I'll continue doing that one more thing I'd like to do is uh, every uh, for every um, one of, of my uh, broadcasts I'd like to uh, show one thing out of my Romanov collection and um, I had a much bigger one but when I moved I wasn't able to take everything with me but um, some things I, I treasure and I um, kept uh, some things are just like they're no big deal but but I kept them just as a memento and one of these things is is this uh, program of a play I saw um, it was called Otma um, I saw it in New York um, at the Atlantic Theater Company um, and I don't remember the year it was years ago but uh, this doesn't have the year but I'd say it was like maybe 10 years ago. And it was a really interesting play um, that depicted um, the girls while um, under arrest in Ekaterinburg and uh, just before uh, the, 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 the tragic murders happened. And um, it's just a, a day out of their lives. Um, and of course, it takes place inside, as as they were um, it, at the Ipatev house. And it was a really interesting play. Um, 
if you'd like, I can um, scan it, um, scan this, the, this program. Of course, it's off, 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 off Broadway, but it was really good. Um, I actually prefer off, off, off Broadway plays to, to Broadway in a way because um, you can really concentrate on acting and, and the plot as opposed to all the fancy stage work and, and, and just you know, I, I just prefer them. Anyway, this was great, and um, I don't know um, if if this can be seen anywhere online. Um, I'll, I'll take a look. Maybe maybe someone recorded it, but it was really um, it was it was it was a really very touching, um, very well written. I thought. Um, so here again um, is is the. Um, program and again I'm still trying to find the year but uh, it just it just gives um dates like day, days of uh like I know that this was uh in I think this was actually in July but it won't give a year so um hmm. but I think it was probably around 2010 I want to say could have been even earlier i have no concept of time honestly <laughs> but it was a while ago <clears throat> so um let me know if you want me to scan it and post it in the group um just just the whole thing it's only um it's only four pages really well two sides um it has all the um has it has the uh, little summary of the plot and um and of course, little bios of, of the um, of the actors, uh, notes from the play, right? Notes about the play. Um, so you know, some of you may find it interesting, and um, that's it. Oh, another thing, I was gonna pour myself some tea in this mug. Some of you may remember this mug, but I actually forgot, and I just had this mug right here. So um, I had a uh, Olga uh, when Olga book first came out um, I had an Olga mug and I had a Tatiana mug when when that one came out and then um, one for the little pair and I haven't done anything for, Mar for the Maria book even though it um, um, it was part of that series of Olga and Tatiana uh, speaking of that I have I have to mention it um, if you haven't if you haven't read it yet um, check it out. I mean, you could even ask your library to, to, to order it. Um, if you don't want to buy it, um, I think the libraries will, will get them if you, if you ask for it, if they don't have them already. And, uh, this, uh, this book, as you know, is based on, um, letters and diaries of, uh, Grand Duchess Maria. Um, three of her diaries did survive, so we utilized those. Um, and, uh, the rest is mostly her letters, um, that she wrote that were written to her, um, and some other things. It's, um, you know, I feel like it's a really, um, it was a, a book that was really necessary to do because Maria is sort of, for the most part, is ignored more even than, than the other sisters. Um, so she really deserved a book. And, um, um, you know, I hope you like it. Let me know. If you've read it, let me know. And uh, again, please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, hit the the red subscribe button that way um, I will get hopefully we'll get the uh, s subs who um, will eventually make up a thousand and I'll be able to do other things with with my channel and also you may want to um, sign up for notifications and that way you will get notified every time I post a new video I'm gonna try to do it every uh, week or so. Um, it'll be maybe from 10 to, to 20 minutes, maybe half hour at the longest. I mean, right now, I thought this was going to be really short, but it's already 20 minutes. So I guess there's a lot to talk about. And, and I think when we're able to do it live, I think it'll be even better because we can, um, I can read your questions and, and, uh, and answer them in, in, in real time. So I think it'll be fun. So, um, thanks again. Tell your friends and relatives and everybody to subscribe to the channel and if they don't they're not into the Romanovs they will be 
Um, all right, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.